Hello everyone, welcome back to my chem corner. So in today's video, we're going to solve question number three. It says, what happens when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to ion fillings? Tick the correct answer. So it says option A, hydrogen gas and ion chloride are released, are produced. Option B, chlorine gas and ion hydroxide are produced. Option C, no reaction takes place. And option D, ion salt and water are produced. Okay. So here the question is very clear. All that you need to know is what happens when you take iron and treat it with dilute HCl. All right, this is the reaction. You they need to note. Uh, we need to know what are the products formed and accordingly take that particular correct answer. So one thing to be remembered is we all know we have learnt about reactivity series right for metals so whenever you're trying to treat it with a acid not every metal will react with acids so for that we know our reactivity series so when we look at the reactivity series all right so when we look at reactivity series first thing we have is potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron pb Hydrogen, copper, silver, sorry, mercury, copper, uh, mercury, silver, gold, and platinum. Alright, so this is the reactivity series. Now, based on the reactivity series, we say that any element present on the top of the series before hydrogen. These will help in displacing hydrogen from acid. Okay. Whereas, so that is still here. Whereas, all metals which are present after hydrogen in the series will not displace hydrogen. Okay. So, this is what is the reactivity series basic thing. Now, what which metal is what is uh, are we looking for? We are looking for iron. Iron is present much before hydrogen, which means it will displace hydrogen from the acid. So here, Fe will react with Cl. Okay, so as I've told you, iron is a metal or I can say a cation. Hydrogen is again a cation and Cl is the anion. So here what will happen, since it is with one of the cations, when you try to react, this anion will displace and it will move to Fe. So here this will form FeCl2 plus hydrogen gas. Okay, why have I put arrow upward? Is because this arrow upward meaning gas is produced and it's released up. Alright, is getting evaporated. So here you're getting iron chloride plus hydrogen as your answer okay so which option is it it is option number a where hydrogen gas and iron chloride are produced the other reactions are not uh, the other options are not valid because here chlorine gas is not produced at all no reaction takes place this cannot be true because fe is present much before hydrogen in the reactivity series so reaction has to take place Iron, salt and water, in this case water will not be produced because we don't have oxygen at all. Alright, so option A is the only answer. 